Hey, this is James Pelton, and I absolutely love technology, and I love seeing technology advance, and guys, the future is here, okay? Honestly, technology's been a little bit stale over the last 10 years or so. I mean, you think back to when the first iPhone came out until now. First iPhone was in 2007. You think about the advances in technology from then until now, really has not been a lot going on. A little things here and there, but nothing life changing. So now we have the blockchain, which I think that's going to change the way society functions. And that's still got a little ways to go. That's what I usually talk about. My Tesla just got full self driving and it's amazing. It's a game changer. Personally, I think that artificial intelligence AI is going to be the biggest day to day life changer of our generation. Okay. And you might say, oh yeah, I've heard that before, but I want to show you some of the power of what you can do with artificial intelligence, even today, right now, even ways that you can use it to make money, want to dig into some of these things, kind of an introduction to artificial intelligence. And then going forward, we'll dig into each of these things a little bit more. So now I have on my channel, I have James Pelton, who's all about passive income. I have crypto Jimbo who's about these degen crypto plays. Now I have to come up with a name for my AI personality, but what about James the AI guy? Hit like if you like that name. Even if you don't like that name, please still hit the like button. Comment down below if you have a different name that you think that I could use. And again, if you do like this content, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe down below. The likes are what I use to gauge if I should do more of this type of content. Maybe you guys hate AI and maybe you hate cool things. And that's totally fine. Just let me know so I know not to make videos about cool things. So what I want to specifically focus on, there's a lot going on in artificial intelligence. And actually, I like saying artificial intelligence better than AI because in Nebraska, we have a lot of cattle around and AI means something completely different. So I don't use AI. I say artificial intelligence. Look it up if you want to know more about that. But there's a lot going on in the artificial intelligence domain, but the main one that's on everybody, everybody's talking about this. In fact, I feel like I'm a hype chaser, but it's so cool that I just have to bring it to your attention because a lot of people still have not heard about it. And I want to help get people thinking about ways that they could use this to better their life, to make more money, to create new businesses, yada, yada. So this tool is called ChatGPT. It's by OpenAI, which I believe Microsoft is a 49% owner. So I think that Microsoft, they're planning to use Bing. They've realized they can't compete with Google directly. So they're doing an artificial intelligence, I think is going to replace Bing here soon. But let me just show you some of the things that this can do. Here are some ways that I think Open AI chat GPT can change your life starting today. So this is the chat GPT interface. It's free for now. I don't know if they're going to eventually charge or if they're just going to replace Bing with this and make money. They have to make money somehow. So, I mean, they could, if they use Bing, they can start doing ads, whatever. I don't know how they're going to monetize it, but this is an AI interface and you can literally ask it to do anything. Like you'll be amazed. Think of anything that you can ask it and it can do it. I just want to give you some examples to get your brain spinning on ways that you can use this. So I want to start with just some that are for fun. Okay. We'll get into business use cases later, but when I talk with average people, it's not the business use cases that they get most excited about. It's honestly these like fun things. So I'm going to start with the fun things that I found that you can do. And one of them is you can use chat GPT to write things for you. So just an example, write a poem about a red haired, good looking chap named James and his journey in crypto trying to make passive income. Okay. Write a poem about this AI James with hair of red, a crypto trader born and bred with charts and numbers on his mind. He sets out to passive income find. He buys and sells with nimble hand, hoping profits will soon expand. He watches the market day and night to make his fortunes take flight. So you see, it, it just does this. It'll write a poem. You can say anything, write a poem about chickens and the Chelsea soccer team and Yeti microphones like it can do literally anything. Let's see what it comes up with. This is a tough one. Chickens, Chelsea soccer team and Yeti microphones. It's taking a bit longer. Chickens pecking in the yard with Chelsea soccer on the guard. Yeti microphone stands tall, capturing it all. 
Feathers flying, beaks a cluck, Chelsea scoring, fans in luck. Yeti Mike so clear and strong, singing Chelsea's victory song. But it's just, it's mind blowing. It literally can do anything. It's a lot of fun. You can just show this to your family and show, hey, write a poem of your sister who is has blonde hair. Yada yada. You can do a lot of fun things with it. It can write other fictional things. You can say, write a story. Write a short story about a man named your friend Andy. See where I'm going with this? And his love of Bitcoin. Yeah, let's just do that. Write a story, a short story about a man named your friend Andy and his love of Bitcoin. Your friend Andy was a man who had a passion for Bitcoin, the digital currency that had taken the world by storm. And it'll write a whole story for you. You can say write a long story. You can say write a movie script for a movie about DeFi starring Yabonks the YouTuber, James Pelton the red-haired good-looking guy, and Austin Clark, the soldier turned influencer title. DeFi, the rise of decentralized finance. Opening shot of a bustling city street with people going about their business. In a world where traditional finance reigns supreme, a new revolution is brewing. A revolution that promises to change the way we think about... <laughs> you box. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the latest trend in finance, DeFi. Yeah, hopefully you can start to see some of the things that this can do. It's just amazing to me. I could spend all day. If you're wondering why my productivity has been lower the last few weeks, it's because of chat GPT. So those are just some fun ways. And again, use your creativity. Let me know in the comments down below. What are some other fun things that you, I mean, it can write jokes. It can write whatever. It can write full books so much. So those are some of the fun things that it can do. It also has a lot of business applications. So for example, you might have noticed I've been tweeting out more recently, but you can say generate a tweet and you can literally say anything. You can say, let's say that matches the voice of my Twitter account about passive income streams. Make it very engaging. Ask the audience a question. Let's try that. Passive income streams are the key to financial freedom, but the question is, are you taking advantage of them? Don't miss out on the opportunity to diversify your income and secure for your financial future. And then I can just take that. I can copy and paste that. That's a pretty well written tweet. And I'm gonna just schedule that tweet to go out later. We'll say in a couple hours. There you go. So you just saw how I grow my Twitter account using open chat. I mean, it's crazy that it can do that. It can generate blog posts. So generate a blog post, project 79. And I'll leave, sometimes if you leave a link, whoops, sometimes if you leave a link to the project, then it'll help. Project 79, the future of decentralized finance. So, you know, and sometimes the better your prompt, the better results you get. Like if I had given, if I had given it a better prompt, like saying specifically what I wanted it to be about, this is actually not the best one that I've seen. Maybe let's, let me do something a little bit more broad. Write a blog post about making money with crypto. Making money with cryptocurrency, a beginner's guide with the rise. And it writes a whole blog article. You could create a blog only you wouldn't have to ever write anything. This is, we're at a crazy time. But I do want to talk about as we go forward how this affects the existing job market. I mean, if you're a copywriter net right now, you have to figure out how this is going to work with what you do for a living. But you can, just some other ideas. We don't have to go do examples of all this, but you can generate YouTube posts. You can generate, generate a script for a YouTube video about crypto. And it'll do it for you. Um, you. You can generate some video ideas about cryptocurrency. You can only do one at a time. Too many. Oh, no. Too many requests in one hour. Try again later. These are some of the limitations that we're seeing because there's so many people using it. They need to get their servers into gear. But so I'll just list some of the other things. I'm not going to wait an hour. Who has time for that in this day and age? But you can generate scripts for YouTube videos. You can create marketing plans generate a marketing plan for my project generate a marketing plan generate a business plan for a bakery called sweet eats so it'll even come up with the name for you generate 10 potential names for a bakery it's just crazy we've not had this kind of power at our fingertips all in one place before
Has it been an hour yet? Can I do some more? Create a workout plan. Monday. And you can be very verbose. Like generate. I want to look like Chris Hemsworth. I don't really. But let's say I did. I want to work out for 45 minutes three times per day using only dumbbells. No cardio ever under any circumstance. Please, you want to be polite to the AI in case they, they turn on us. Please generate me a workout. Let's try. Ah! Okay, here's a sample dumbbell only workout. You can do three times per day. Oh, whoops, I did say three times per day. So be careful. <laughs> you should not work out three times per day. But this is just an example. Generate a meal plan. Keto. Very frustrating making a video. Too many requests. I want to show you guys what it can do. Okay, well, so I'm gonna just have to talk about it. You can go mess around with it. I don't need to show you everything it can do. You literally can go type in these exact same things, but you can generate a meal plan and say, I want it to be keto and I want this and that. And I, the, you can say, here are the ingredients I have. What are some meals I can make? It's just bonkers. Like I have trouble sleeping at night sometimes because my mind is just going of ways to use. You can use it for education. So you can say, explain nuclear fusion to me like I am a sixth grader. And it will do it. It'll synthesize it, put it in a sixth grader level. And it's, you know, such a such a powerful tool. You can generate flashcards. You can have it give you sample ACT questions. You can have it give you a test quiz. Give me a test quiz of calculus talking about integrals or whatever you can do all those sorts of things like that so there's a lot you can do on the education side of things you can sum up books like give me here's the dangerous part if you're a student I, if you're a student right now i want you to mute the video and don't pay attention okay but write a book report two pages long at a seventh grade level about travels and it literally writes this book report. I don't know what teachers are going to do. If they had this when I was in school, I'd be an idiot. I'd know how to use AI really well, but I would not know it. I don't, honestly, I don't know what schools are gonna do about this. They're gonna have to find a way to like, figure out what's generated via artificial intelligence. This is just bonkers. So fun stuff you can do, business stuff you can do, education. Again, just trying to whet your appetite. Go find other things and leave them in the comments. I would love to see what creative ideas you come up with for using this. Another thing you can do is as a programmer. So again, I'm a software developer by nature, but you can say write a PHP function to roll a dice, okay? And it will just write the code for you. It's slow right now because so many people are using it. So, but you can do that and you can do more complicated things. Like, what was I looking at? Write a JavaScript application for the board game Monopoly. Too many requests still. But yet you can have it write full applications. You can have it look over existing code and tell you where the problems are. Like I can copy and paste some of my PHP code into chat GPT and it'll tell you well, this is what it's going to do, or here's an error here, what you need to do to fix it. It's crazy. So again, these are just some ideas. They have this AI tool master list, because what a lot of businesses are doing is they're taking some of these opportunities that chat GPT has opened up, and then they're building layers on top of it, because there's open AI has some great APIs, which basically lets you build software on top of something existing. So like I have this AI, I'll leave a link to this. Someone gave this to me on Twitter. I'm so sorry, I can't shout out to you. I don't remember who it was, but like audio editing. And then it's all these different AI audio editing and creating your own profile pictures, avatars, code assistant, copywriting, customer support design, developer tools, education, email assistant. You can generate emails. You can say, write a email, write a funny email response to someone telling me I'm a scammer. I wanna try that actually. Write a funny email response to someone who calls me a scammer. Yeah, I'm gonna start using this to respond to all people. But anyways, email response, so there's some experimental things going on, fashion, I don't even know. You can look into that. Fun tools, these are fun. Yeah, you can have OpenGT answer you like they're Elon Musk. You can say, 
Talk to me like you're Elon Musk and answer this question, etc. There's ga yeah, some games. I know people have been creating like text RPGs using this, things like that. Yeah, writing, obviously, write books. I saw someone tweet when the first Pulitzer Prize is going to be given to an AI generated story or something like that. Yeah, gift ideas. Healthcare, you can put in symptoms and it'll try to find you. And it does a really good job of like qualifying all the answers by saying like, hey, I'm not an actual medical human resources logo generation. The sky is the limit. There's so much that could be done here. I mean, again, I wanna just get you thinking so you can go take this and run in your own direction. But I do wanna talk about that for just a minute is will this kill jobs? I and mean, I think it will. I think there's a lot of jobs that will become obsolete because of artificial intelligence. And this always happens with technology. When technology comes out, it does kill off, but see the jobs that it kills off are gonna be lower paying jobs and the jobs it creates are going to be higher paying jobs. What technology usually does is it kills off jobs at the bottom of the pay structure and it creates jobs a little bit higher up so you might not be able to be uh, I, I mean if you're a copywriter again i don't know you're gonna have to really consider how this is gonna work in with what you're doing but it might kill off those bottom copywriting jobs but it might create maybe you can be more of a con curator rather than an actual just sitting there writing the words so again it might kill off a lower job and create a higher job so i'm not overly concerned about that i will tell you I think you should stay abreast. Sorry for using that word. I really am sorry. But I think you should stay up to date on the latest technology. So in conclusion, please hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you like this content, especially if you want to see more about AI. I Maybe my next 40 videos will be about AI. I'm super excited about it right now. Comment down below, what are some business ideas that you can think of using this technology? So again, when I started using it, the way my brain works is I automatically start thinking of business ideas. Like what are problems that I have? So I want to create workoutgenerator.ai where you can select which celebrity do you want to look like? What's your weight? They have some of these things already, but I want to put my own spin on it. And that's another thing. When you're creating a business, it does not have to be a one of a kind thing. Like there's a lot of different, you, there's a lot of different workout generators and you can make your own. I want to create tweetgenerator.ai where you can hook into chat GPT. It'll generate tweets for you and it'll hook into Twitter and schedule them out for you. So you can say, I want to schedule three tweets a day that are AI generated. I mean, there's already stuff that does some of this, some of these things, but again, I want to have my own spin. I have tons of extra time. So I want to put my own spin on some of these things. So let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you'd like, if I start one of these businesses, just showing you how I like get workout generator AI off the ground. You know, maybe that would be some helpful con content for you guys. So all in all, I just want to be helpful for you. Want to be interesting, want to be entertaining. So I hope that this has been all those things for you. Appreciate all you guys and have a great rest of your day. Thanks.